was just random. I got some lipstick on. And look at how it looks. It's called a wine lip tint. When you put it on, it smells like straight chocolate. Like, it's... I cannot read that. Eek. Okay, let me see. Oh, no. You can't read it either because I can't even see it in the camera. But it says XIN. <laughs> M-I-A-O. I don't know if that's a different language. Um, laboratories of Nature. Wine Lip Tint. And it smells like chocolate. And it's so cute. Like, it literally looks like a wine bottle. Anyways, this is what I'm wearing today. Just a fun fact. Okay, two hours after talking about my lipstick popping. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. So today, I, I really want to talk about something a little different. Um, I wanted to put on here how a man can love a woman. The reason why is because through my experiences, I'm starting to realize that men don't really know what it takes. And... And it kind of comes off as you not really being a man. It comes off as you being a child. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give just my perspective because I'm not every woman. But I can definitely say what it would take to win my heart over. You know, um, I'm a woman and I feel like I want a little bit more than most women probably do. Hmm. I don't know. You know, let's just go ahead and give you some of these tips here and there and see what's up. Okay, so uh, for me in particular, because I don't want to speak on every woman, because I don't want women in my comment box like, er, no. But for me in particular, I'm the type of woman that likes attention. You know, I love attention. Um, I feel like if you're not giving me attention, you're giving someone else my attention. Um, it's not really hard to win me over because I have a really big heart and as long as you show interest and as long as you make yourself present and known and allow me to get to know you then I think that it works you know that comes with the in the detention attention department um, because I need your attention I need your full undivided attention and I would like to give you my full undivided attention in the end I want to let you guys know that I'm not looking for a sex buddy when I pick someone, I'm looking for somebody that can potentially spend the rest of my life with. Now, guys, I want you to know, it's not okay to just go around and date people just to date people. I feel like unless you feel that this person take is what it takes to potentially be your wife, then go ahead and waste your time on her. If you don't feel that way, you need to let it known in the first place, hey, I don't, you know... I don't know how you would say it because it's kind of touchy, especially when you've been, you know, dealing with somebody. I guess you could just say, I'm just really not feeling it. Um, so I'm just going to chill. Um, it's not okay to, you know, somebody just texted me, but it's not okay to waste people's time. Um, I have had a lot of people waste my time. I sit here and I think of the potentials that they have. I'm like, they're sweet, they're caring, they're thoughtful, they cook, they clean. You know, they have a head on their shoulders, they're smart, they're wise, they're funny. You know, and then I'm like, oh, okay, so this is what I would imagine my future husband, or this is close to what I need for my future husband. Now, we can't think that someone is completely perfect, but, you know, um, as long as they have qualities and that, that they don't have any deal breakers of yours because everyone has different deal breakers so anyways first of all attention second of all you know not just calling me attention i need quality time i need you to make me feel like you care make me feel wanted um so quality time um then i need a f you know i need you to communicate with me you know i need communication um i need to know that we are on the same page number four um i don't really need romance too much but i would like romance from someone um and i do number five number five number five number five i know you guys get annoyed number four 
like to give and receive gifts, which I know I've mentioned multiple times. So I would like someone that gives me gifts. Oh my God, six. It was only supposed to be like freaking three steps. Number six, number six. I would like someone that rubs my feet and washes my back and lets me do the same for them. Washes my hair, lets me wash their hair. I love romance a lot. Um, someone who is wise, you know, and stable. Okay, so I guess now it's getting a little interesting. It was only supposed to be like freaking two steps, but I guess this will be um, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, I guess. Like, um, stable as far as like, you know, not necessarily you know where you're going, but that you're pushing to do better. You know, that's all that matters. You don't have to have a fancy car, or nice, um, you don't have to work at the nicest places or anything like that to get with me. But you do have to have goals and dreams and at least attempt to get there at some point. Okay, yeah, I kind of stopped counting. <laughs> because we're not getting any younger, you know. Um, I hate when we, when I run across men who, they kind of, they don't understand what it takes to be a spouse. And they don't understand what I need from them. And it's not a lot. It's just okay, so don't get too sad. Overall, the most important things to me is only time and effort. If you're giving time and effort, that's all that matters. Time and your effort. Um, it's crazy because I will have people who don't really call me don't really text me and then they're like oh i love you oh this this and that but you're not giving me quality time so i'm you know becoming less and less interested in you i want someone okay i want you to treat me as if i'm your wife and i feel like every girl or some girls would like that they would want someone in their life that can treat them like a wife because we should not just date for our health. We should date because we see qualities in this person. We should not waste people's time and date somebody that we clearly cannot see us trying to attempt to build a future with. And that's just the moral of the story. At the end of the day, I want somebody who can look at me and be like, I can attempt to build a future with this person. So I'm willing to do what it takes so that we can move forward. And I would do the same in return, you know. Um, this is for women and guys. Please don't just date people for your health. Date people because you actually like them. Date people because you feel like they have qualities that it takes to be with you on the long-term basis. It's not okay to waste people's time. It's not okay to lead people on. Um, I know that it's easier said than done. But in the long run, you would save yourself and other people lots of heartache and time by just verbalizing um, what it is at the end of the day and what you need to, by verbalizing what it is at the end of the day and maybe like verbalizing to your spouse or your significant other what they can do or what it takes for them to, you know, um, to make you happy on that level. You know, we should not waste time. Time is so precious, so valuable. Let's say you're wasting this person's time and she has cancer and she ends up passing away and she never got to experience someone who actually really genuinely loved her. Please don't waste her time. And when you come into a relationship, when you see that it's a genuine person that actually genuinely cares about you, give them that time. Make an effort. You know, don't just play with them because you don't know how many times you're going to get to go back and forth. Some people don't give second chances. Um, so that's all really I want from a man. Um, you don't have to have the most fancy shoes, the most fancy apartment, but you have to be in the process of wanting to wanting something better for your life. And I feel like a lot of women are like that. And you need to definitely give time and show initiative and show effort and be romantic and bring flowers and make her feel like she is your wife. Because at the end of the day, we're not looking for sex buddies. We're looking for people that we can spend the rest of our life with. We don't want to waste time. We don't want to hurt other people. We want to move forward with life and handle life in a more responsible manner. So, with that being said, I hope that you guys have a wonderful day. 
And I believe in you guys. I want you to know at the end of the day, I believe in you. You can have whatever you want to have. Just ask for it. Go for it. Live it. You will get everything that you have possibly asked for in life. And you're not going to be disappointed. I promise you. I hope that you have a wonderful day, you guys. Love you. May your neighbors respect you. Trouble neglect you. Angels protect you. And heaven accepts you.